with an average elevation of 2,800 meters. The Kongragabo Chu Valley area in China's Tibet has heavy precipitation, a mild climate, and moderate sunshine. It's home to a number of giant trees with a height of more than 75 meters. In the morning, Zhangga Sering, a ranger of the forest, begins his daily patrol. One of the trees he's checking is an 83.4 meter tall Arby's Anesti, one of the tallest trees on the Chinese mainland. It was discovered by researchers in 2022 and believed to be about 380 years old. Botanists usually refer to trees over 70 meters tall as giant trees. This tree was first discovered during a scientific investigation conducted by the Institute of Botany under the Chinese Academy of Sciences in May 2022. In August 2022, a comprehensive expedition team came to the valley to carry out more detailed research on this giant tree. Yao 它为什么能够长那么高。After careful measurement, the tree was confirmed to be 83.4 meters tall and registered as one of the tallest trees on the Chinese mainland. Villagers tied a white harder scarf on it which implies the locals' good wishes for the giant tree. In the past, villagers used to cut down trees to make building materials. Lumbering was prohibited by the end of the last century. Nowadays, villagers have become guardians of the forest. Zhangga Sering patrols the forest with a focus on fire hazards, illegal logging, and pest control. His goal is to keep the forest pristine and undisturbed. <laughs> Puzang is the village closest to the giant tree. Villagers moved here in the 1940s from an alpine grassland. This is a valley with rich natural resources. With the development of the times, new hope is sprouting in the forest. A 52-year-old Xiao Gi is the first in Puzang to run a homestay. Born in the village, she has witnessed every change that happened here. <laughs> In 2018, Puzang had its first paved road. Convenient transportation brings new hope to the village. 
Early in the morning, the sun shines again on the giant trees of the valley. Villagers welcome the start of a new day with folk songs.